Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to try that again. I want to hear every voice. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. It's Amen. great to be in his presence. Now, we have a lesson to teach this morning, a great lesson. Uh, I, I woke up this morning mindful of uh, the Apostle Paul, uh, the, the relationship with the Lord. And uh, just thought about, amen, we ended this, this year, uh, and the most important thing that we want to do, amen, make sure we have a relationship with the Lord. Because in the end, uh, uh, it's about whether we have a relationship with God. Amen. That's going to matter the most. Right. Amen. If I don't have a relationship with God, uh, words say he's going to say depart from me. Amen. I never knew you. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the word and uh, I'm going to read um, out of the book of uh, Matthew, the seventh chapter, and by verse 21, I believe that's where we will start our lesson this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody put your hand together and give the Lord a hand of praise this morning in this place. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel good to be in the house of men this morning. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, amen. We're almost there. Hallelujah. I see why I don't, amen, read for myself. It's so easy to get somebody to read for you. All right, it's starting right here. We want to go ahead and start reading here at verse uh, 21. It said, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, Many will say in one it to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name has cast out devil. And in thy name done many wonderful work. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Amen. Uh, uh, it's more important, you know, uh, that the Lord knows us than we knowing him. Amen. Amen. A lot of people will say that I know the Lord. I know the man. Hallelujah. Amen. And I often tell them, Get to know him better. <laughs> Amen. Get to know him better. It's more important to get to know him better than to just know him. Because it's all about relationship. That's what matters the most. Uh, if, if, if you know, if, if he knows you and you know him, it's a good thing. Amen? Amen. So that's what we're going to look at today. Amen. You know, I used to come to church years ago. <laughs> My old pastor used to tell us, he said, uh, y'all come early and pray uh, because uh, you don't know how the Lord going to deal with you. He said, and prayer will save you. Amen. Because for one thing, when you get in prayer, you already don't repent. Amen. Come on, y'all hear me today. Amen. You already done repented. You already done got cleaned up. You already ready. Ain't nothing that can be said and can hurt you. Right. Hello. Amen. But, you know, more prayer, more power. Less prayer, less power. We're going we to, amen, get right into this this morning. But, uh, 
Jesus was letting them know that uh, many going to say in the last day, uh, Lord, Lord, hadn't we cast out devils in your name? Have we done a lot of uh, good works in your name? And uh, in, 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 in the relationship, he's going to say, I never knew you. You know, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Amen. And let me say this here, that work alone will, will not get the job done. Amen. 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 It, 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 that scripture in there that backs that up says, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but he saved us by the washing and the regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. You know, uh, all the chicken dinners and all of the, the labels of love, oh, it, it, it get God's attention. But it, but it don't, uh, don't take the place of a relationship with God. Right. Amen. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me share with you. I want you to go somewhere. Let me show you something. There, there, there is a family that was uh, committed to God, committed to the works of God. But they wasn't saved because the word of God stands assured. It said not by works of righteousness. Right. They did everything right. But what it did was got God's attention. Give me, give me Acts the 10th chapter in verse 1. It simply got God's attention. And that's what you want to do first. You want to be able to, amen, get God's attention. Now God's going to send someone, amen, or he's going to do something to to. to to uh, bring you onto the place where you need to be. Right. Amen. When you got his attention. Right. Amen. Now, there, the Bible talks about a man. Won't you read there? Uh, there, read. There was a certain there man. There was in not Cicero just a man, but a certain man in Caesarea. Called Cornelius. His name was called Cornelius. A centurion of the he band. He was a centurion of a band. Called the Italian band. Called the Italian band. He was a. Uh, a military man, read. A devout man and one that feared God he was, with all his house. He was devoted, amen, to the cause. And he feared God with his whole house. Come on. Which gave much alms to the people. And he gave much alms unto the people. And prayed to God always. And he prayed to God. He had a prayer life to God. Always, amen. Men should always Pray and not faint. Read. He saw in a vision. Now, evidently, he got God's attention because that his lifestyle, he was committed, he was devoted, he was a giving man, God-fearing, amen. Right. He was a praying man, and his whole house was uh, under subjection, under the uh, umbrella of God. Amen. And being that way, God, he got God's attention. But he saw in a vision, evidently, about the ninth, about the ninth hour, hour of, the of the day, an angel, an angel of, God of God coming in, coming to him in unto him and saying and to, say to him, Cornelius, yo, come on, read. And when and he, when looked, he looked, on up, him, looked on him, he said, he was afraid, he was afraid and, said, and said, what is it, Lord? What, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, and he said unto him, thy prayers and your thy prayers own, and your arm, your and prayer. Don't got a hold to God. Your arm, your giving has came God. up before a mirror before God. All this just got God attention. If you want to get God attention, pray and deal and fear God and be yeah. devoted and committed. All this yeah. will get God in your favor. But slack up on this here and you will see your life start to deteriorate. I promise you. Amen. Come on, read. And now send me. Now to Joppa. I want you to send men to Joppa. And call for one Simon. Oh, that's that's I ain't gonna take you through all this here this morning. But I want to show you now all this that he did, he were not saved. God began to, amen. He got God's attention and God, amen, began to send somebody to right. preach to him. Amen. Somebody that was called, sent, and went of God. Amen. Uh, uh, Bible said, how can they preach except they be sent? And how can they? God has to call them, amen, and send them. Amen. And so the story goes on and talks about Peter, amen, was hungry. He was praying 
And God, amen, let him sit down three times, amen, to get his attention, amen, and, uh, and all manner of four-footed beasts. And then Peter began to tell, amen, God, and not so, Lord, I have never eaten anything uncommon or unclean, touch these lips. And it happened three times, and behold, there were three men at the door knocking, amen, amen, to see him. And then the Spirit of the Lord said to Peter, Amen, go, Amen, see what they want, not down. Go to the door and see what they want, Amen. So Peter went to the door and they were down. They rehearsed the story over again about how that they, Amen, Cornelius had seen, Amen, an angel of the Lord, Amen, coming to him. Right. So when Peter, amen, came in and preached to him, the Bible said, while Peter was yet speaking the word, the Holy Ghost fell on all of them which heard the word. You see, faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Oh, Come amen. on, put your hand together. Amen. You believe what I'm saying this morning. Hello. Hallelujah. Now, now so, so it got their attention, and then the Holy Ghost fell on them. Amen. And Peter had some explaining to do. Right. Amen. Getting a, a man of genuine relationship with God is, is important. Amen. Very important to get a genuine relationship with God. Just like the Bible said. Not like mom said. Not like dad said. Not like cousin said. Amen. Hallelujah. But like the word said. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, so uh, uh, you go to the 11th chapter. Amen. Of the book of Acts. And then uh, uh, the, the apostle which was at Ju Jerusalem had heard that that Peter, amen, was preaching to the, to the, amen, to Gentiles, and they, 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 they conferred, amen, and they began to, amen, argue among this thing why he went to them and right. eat with them, sit down with the Gentiles. Amen. Why is it that you've done this? And then he rehearsed the matter right. over again. He said, when I saw all this here, I remember the Lord saying that, Amen. John indeed baptized you with water, but not many days hence you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Amen. amen. And when I seen that the Holy Ghost had <laughs> fell on them, amen, I said within myself, who am I, amen, amen, to judge what God wants to do? Right. I perceive that he of no respect to person. Amen. So Peter went on, amen, amen, and they, after heard his testimony, amen, they rejoiced with him, amen, amen, amen. and I said that this is a great, wonderful thing amen. that God has all also on the Gentiles. Right. Hallelujah. Oh, my, 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 my. But this morning, this, this lesson is about relationship, gay. amen. You know the Lord, amen, it's all right. Wherever you may be today, amen, got to know him better. Right. Amen. Get a closer walk, amen, just a closer walk with thee, the song amen. said. Amen. Hallelujah. But I, I, I don't want the Lord to say to me, depart from me, I never knew you. Hallelujah. Oh, oh God, I, I, I want to show you something here. It's about relationship. Now, I'm going to take you back. You get me in Genesis, this is the fourth chapter. Hallelujah. Verse 1. Relationship. Uh, to know somebody, amen, uh, in the beginning was to conceive. Uh, typology of the relationship with God. Right. You see, Old Testament, a lot of stuff with typology leading us, amen, so many typologists that was there that to show us. Uh, when, when Adam knew Eve, they became one. Right. And they brought up one. And then two. And uh, I don't know if it, there was any other. But uh, will you read the uh, Genesis 4 chapter verse 1? And Adam knew Eve his wife. And Adam knew Eve his wife. And she conceived. And she conceived. And there Cain. And she bare Cain. And said. And she said. I have gotten a man from the Lord. I have got a man. Got me a man from the Lord. It was an honor. A man to have a man child. Because the seed royal. The royal seed. You knew that you had something that's going to gonna carry you on. Right. If you had a man child, you know you live on afterward. Amen. Things just going to, just going to, God's just going to bless throughout. Amen. Uh, you see. Come on, read. And she again bare his brother Abel. And these two here was uh, uh, so likened to twins there. 
Some say they were twins. They was the same time. They was, she had two kids at one time. Amen. Cain and Abel. Cain first and Abel. And one was, read about him. Let's read. Come on, read. And Abel was a keeper Abel of sheep. Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Cain was an earthly man. He was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass. That, that's good right there. But uh, to know, my point is, uh, we focused this morning on a relationship with God, to know him. Amen. Him knowing us and we know him. Amen. And so that's what it was. Amen. The relationship, you know someone. Right. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to see you somewhere else. Uh, go get me. Amen. Uh, First Corinthians. The sixth chapter. Verse 15. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, this, this, is, this is something this morning. Are you there? Amen. Uh, some of you there. Get my reading to get there. Amen. First Corinthians 6 and 15. That'd be a good place to start. Amen. Will you read for me then? Know ye not that you, your do you bodies not, are the members of Christ? Do you not know what? That your bodies are that, the members of Christ? That your body is the member of Christ. Your body belongs to the Lord. Come Amen. on. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? Should I take the members? We members, you got this on. Your body is the members. There are several parts of the body. And every part plays a part in the body of Christ. Read. Right. God forbid. Oh, there are many members of the body of Christ. Shall we take that body and make it and, and use it like a harlot? God forbid. God forbid. God won't allow it. Come on, read. What? What? Know ye not. Do that you not know. He which is joined to a harlot is he one body. Which is joined to a harlot is what? One body. One body where if you sleep with a harlot or if you sleep with somebody outside of marriage or you sleep uh, with somebody, you, 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 you became one body. Right. You, it's closer than you think. Uh, read on. For two said he, for two, one flesh. says he, when you was individual, now you one flesh. Right. Amen. It is almost as though you was married. And Jesus, well, when he met the lady, well, we'll read that. We'll look at that sometime this morning. Read on. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one but spirit. But if you have a relationship with God, you're one spirit. Is that what it says? <laughs> yes. Read on. Flee fornication. Uh, flee fornication. Run. When you see fornication coming, you run. Amen. Escape for your life, for your soul. <laughs> flee it. Amen. <laughs> get away from it. Get it. Amen. You see it coming. You need to get on out of there. Amen. When the fire gets hot and heat gets heated up, you need to move. You need to move fast. You can't play with fire in your bosom and don't get burnt. Right. That's what the words say. Come on, read. Every sin that a man doeth is Every without the body. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinneth against Lord his Hammer. own body. But if you commit fornication, you'll sin against your own body. You 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 on your own. You 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 in trouble. Amen. Read on. What? Here you go again. That what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? Do you know your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? Which ye have of God. Which you have of God. And ye are not your own. You are not your own. You ain't no zombie. You don't belong to yourself. Right. <laughs> you, 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 you belong to the Lord. Right. Amen. Read. 
For ye are bought with a price. You are bought with a price. Let me tell you something. Amen. Some people say salvation is free. Salvation, amen, ain't free. It costs somebody. Amen. Somebody died, buried, and rose again. Amen. Some, some, some. You gonna have to. It gonna cost something. Right. Amen. You know, it may be free in the aspect that that you just go in and possess it. But guess what? It's gonna cost something. Guess what? It's gonna cost. It's gonna cost you you. Amen. Hello. <laughs> What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? You were more than the whole wide world. Right. Amen. To give yourself away to Jesus. Don't give it to somebody. Amen. Read on. Therefore, glorify God in your body. In your body. You need to glorify the Lord in your body. You and worship him and you swing your body. You praise him with your body. Right. You clap your hand. Amen. And you 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 praise him. You jabula in the Holy Ghost unto the Lord. Amen. You 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 sway and you love the Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't got a problem with praise dance and praise worship as long as, as they keep it right. Don't go a twerking in the church. Right. Hallelujah. You keep that thing clean. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Ghost must be talking. Amen. I ain't want to say that. Read on. And in your spirit. And in your God. spirit, it was his God. Oh, this this is good stuff right here. Amen. Let me give me, give me, give me. Let me tell you something. About, it's about relationship. Amen. I ain't I ain't, I ain't finished yet. Why, why don't we just go? Let's go to uh John, the eighth chapter. Let's look at some stuff here. I want to show you something. The eighth chapter. We look at this here. The eighth chapter, verse one. Amen. Jesus teaching. Uh, hallelujah. When you get it, say amen. Amen. Go ahead and read it for me, if you will. <laughs> Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. When Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning he came again into the temple. Early in the morning he came back again to the temple. He and went to the Mount of Olives. So he went up there and prayed. You know, Jesus had something about that mountain going up there and to a mountain and pray. Amen. I, I don't Amen. see one around here. We got the sand dune around here. We might go up there occasionally and pray <laughs> and then come on back to the temple. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I think in the mountain, just to be a little closer, just a little closer to the Lord, just get up a little higher there. Amen. Get a bell signal up there. Seemed like Jesus was going up there. You know, he, he was using a, a different type of cell phone. <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't get up on the hill and get a signal out there. Come on, Reed. And all the people came and to him. All the people came to him. And, and what? he sat down. And he sat down and with them. them. And he began to teach them. Like we're doing this morning. We're just teaching. We're just reaching. We're just <laughs> preaching. Come on, read. And the scribes and Pharisees. And the scribes and the Pharisees. They brought unto him. Oh, and here come these Pharisees. Pharisee, there's nothing wrong with me. And scribes, they write it down to take notes of. Then it says scribes. Right. The scribes scribbles. The scribes and the Pharisees, the one that talk about it and the one that write about it. Amen. You had the, you know, the news reporter. Amen. Thank God for the scribe. We had the word of God now. Amen. Amen. They did do some good. Amen. Holy man spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh, the word of God came by the inspiration of God. All scriptures given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect through the furniture and all good work. And the scribes wrote it down. Holy man spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on, read. Help me out. Brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. What they did was the Pharisees, they brought a woman that was taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst. And see, they knew that the letter killers. They knew the law, what the law did. And they, they threw her in the midst of it and read where Jesus was. They, they tried to interrupt his program. You know, the right. devil always trying to interrupt. The program of God. God had a program. Sit him down and begin to teach him. And all of a sudden, they gave him a subject to teach on. Right. Hallelujah. It's a good subject. Amen. This morning. And they brought her and put her in the midst of them. What happened? They say unto him, Master. They said unto him, Master. This woman was taken this in adultery. This woman was taken in adultery. In the very act. In the very act. 
What you say we ought to do to a reed? Now Moses in now the law. Now we know that Moses in the law said that right, such should be such stoned. should be stoned. But what says so thou? What you say about it, Jesus? Now Jesus is going to bring this grace right on in. See, you know, see the grace of God has appeared unto all men, teaching right. us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust that we shall live righteously, soberly, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed and hope and appearance of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So the uh, the grace of God has appeared right here on the right. scene, and and they want to know what you say. The law said we should stone her. Right. Now what he says is, come on here. This they said, tempting him. They was tempting him, trying him out. You know, I get a few every now and then and try me out, amen. And all I do is just put script on them. I don't put lip on them. Give them word, amen. Give them something that, you know, so when they point their hand, they be pointing at God and three more be pointing back at them. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, read. That they might have to accuse him. That they might find some fault in him, read. But Jesus stooped but Jesus down. But Jesus stood flat footed and said, What? Stooped down. He stooped down. And with his finger Lord wrote on the ground. We all need to turn themselves on off now. Hallelujah. You see what? <laughs> don't need to call me. Hallelujah. Call on Jesus. It's it time for Jesus. Read. And Come with his me. finger wrote on the ground. And with his finger wrote on the ground. As though he heard them not. As though he didn't hear what they were saying. He just stooped down. They were saying, now, hey, Moses said, we should stone this hole. We should stone this holler. What you say about it? And he stooped down like he heard nothing and began to write. Bob, Joe, John, Timothy. Now, I don't know what he wrote, but he wrote something that, that, that come on, read, that, that they didn't like. Read. So when they continue asking him, so when they continue asking him, he lifted up himself. He lifted up himself and said unto them, said unto them, He that is without sin among you, he that without sin among you, let, let him, him cast, the, cast a let stone him first cast a stone. Come on. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Now this time, oh, he really wrote. I don't know what he wrote the first time. This time he wrote some stuff that was really toxic to their lifestyle. Read. And they which heard it. When they heard what he was right, not what he said. Y'all right. hear me this moment. They heard what he wrote. Right. Come on. Being convicted by their own Being conscience. Being convicted by their own conscience. Oh, thank God for conviction. Right. Hey, man, if you don't have that, you, 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 you twice dead and plucked up by the root. Your conscience is seared. Read. Right. Went out one by one. They went out one by one from the greatest of the Beginning at the, the elders. At the elders. Even unto, unto the, the very least. least of them. And Amen. Jesus was left alone. And Jesus was left alone. And him, the woman standing and in the And the midst. woman standing right there in the midst. Come on. Read. When Jesus had lifted up himself. Now when he lifted up himself. And saw none but the woman. And he didn't see no one but the woman. He said unto her. He said unto her. Woman. Woman. Where are those where that accuse Where is those that accuse you? Had no man condemned thee? Have no man condemned you? She, said, she said. No she said, man, Lord. No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her. <laughs> ah, Lord. You know what? The word said there is therefore now. No condemnation to them which are in Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. Here it is in Ixon right here. When Jesus came on the scene, there was now no condemnation to that woman. Right. She, amen, she was set free. Amen. Read on. Amen. Read on. She said, No man, Lord. No man, Jesus Lord. Said unto Jesus her, said to her, Neither do I condemn Neither thee. do I condemn you. Go and see no 